excellent discovery. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Mustafa Arabaka. I recently uh, completed uh, my PhD studies in Curtis Lab, working on the uh, development of nerve vector spirides as a functional membrane protein expression platform. So, membrane proteins are extremely important for all living organisms as they carry out uh, crucial physiological roles, including energy generation, signal transduction, and transport of solutes. Uh, and they also comprise more than 60% of the uh, drug targets in the pharmaceutical industry uh, today. Uh, however, the membrane protein studies are hampered by their low availability in the natural sources. Therefore, we need to overexpress membrane proteins uh, to get more information about them. Uh, traditional expression loss, including E. coli, has limited membrane uh, area for uh, expression of membrane proteins. Therefore, we've been looking for alternative uh, expression uh, expression hosts, and uh, we decided to employ rotavector spirulines for membrane protein expression. And this was because uh, uh, rotavector has one to two orders of higher uh, membrane uh, surface area uh, available for membrane uh, protein expression. This, this is because it's a photosynthetic bacterium uh, that, and the photosynthetic apparatus of uh, rotobacter spirides are naturally uh, accommodated on those membranes. And using this system, uh, here I can show you uh, the ring there growing rotobacter using this uh, infrared LEDs. We were able to express uh, membrane proteins from different uh, organisms and classes including human uh, weather channel proteins to uh, multi-saccharine uh, enzyme complexes. And this pretty much sums up my research. Uh, hi, I'm Tucker Langseth and I work on the membrane protein expression uh, research group which is with Mustafa. And uh, what we do is we grow rotobacter spheroides in a photoheterotrophic system to um, yield membrane proteins. And some of the membrane proteins we work with are uh, aquaporin, we work with a rotobacter aquaporin, and a human aquaporin, and uh, I guess what I do is uh, try to work on the, the platform to better it, and I do two things. The first is I made a pH uh, control system for our uh, photo bioreactor setup, and uh, the problem with the old setup is that uh, undefined medium would uh, become too basic and it would stop growth at a uh, really low biomass yield. So I created a pH control system using a pH controller and succinate at a um, pretty low molarity of around like 0.25 and this controls the pH and increases the biomass production which in turn gives you a higher, higher volumetric uh, productivity on the protein that we're trying to grow, which is usually, you know, things like uh, rotobacter aquaporin and the rotobacter aquaporin with the membrane, or uh, with the M-banana fusion protein on it. And then we usually test the functionality. Um, and unlike most people in Curtis Lab, I do downstream stuff as well as the upstream stuff. So I purify the protein and work on purifying techniques and then work on helping Ting Wei, who's in Kumar Lab, with functionality. Um, and then the other project recently that we just started is working on a new plasmid. And the other um, project I'm working on with the Rotobacter platform is working on the plasmid to get rid of a couple things and increase the productivity. So we want to get rid of the uh, tetracycline resistance gene and with the plasma we just got called PRKD418, it has a trimethoprim resistance gene. And the reason we wanted to go away from the uh, tetracycline is because when UV light hits it, it uh, photooxidizes and releases what well, turns into a toxic uh, substance that will kill the, the uh, bacteria. Yeah.
and also um, the emission spectrum of tetracycline interferes with the fusion um, fluorescent tag proteins like the M banana or Evo Glow and I think there's one more that I don't know. And um, so this new plasmid has the uh, trimethoprim resistance gene which is an antibiotic that doesn't interfere with the emission spectrum of the fluorescent tag proteins and isn't affected by light so we aren't restricted in our photobioreactor system. And I think that's about it.